In the midst of the church he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Today we begin uh, three memoria of the uh, saints of the church. We have um, Saint Ignatius of Loyola flanked by two bishops and doctors of the church. Uh, Saint Ignatius, of course, is tomorrow. Today we have Saint Peter Chrysologus, and on Saturday we have uh, Alphonsus Mary Liguori. And so two great doctors of the church, uh, Saint Peter Chrysologus lived in the early, in late fourth and early part of the fifth century. And he was made Bishop of Ravenna around about 433 and he was a very um, conscientious and faithful and loving um, bishop to his people, uh, a great orator, a great preacher of homilies, um, patron saint I need to, to pray to. Uh, he had a great gift of being able to sum up the truths of the faith and of uh, the scriptures uh, of divine revelation uh, in his homilies very to the point and bringing out all the truths that needed to be presented particularly in a time of great turbulence in the church where there were uh, many um, dissenters from what the church held to be true and also of course disputes about what the church should believe and teach particularly in the area of the natures of Christ uh, with the uh, heresy of monophysitism which held that Christ had only one will, which was a divine will, there was no human will there, whereas we know that Christ had a divine and a human will, and his human will was perfectly aligned to the divine will. And so this is one of the things that Peter Chrysologus uh, taught about, as well as uh, the perpetual virginity of Our Lady and the, on the Incarnation, on the Eucharist, he was a great um, advocate of uh, daily reception of the Holy Eucharist and on the mercy and forgiveness of Christ uh, a powerful pastoral as well as theological and spiritual pastor for his people and so we pray to him for our own pastors and bishops in our own day that we may be inspired to seek always the truth to teach it with love and faithfulness and compassion the Mass today is uh, the mass intention for today is John and Marion Milligan. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
let us pray. O oh God, who made the Bishop St. Peter of Chrysologus an outstanding preacher of your incarnate word, grant through his intercession that we may constantly ponder in our hearts the mysteries of your salvation and faithfully express them in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The word that was addressed to Jeremiah by the Lord, Get up and make your way down to the potter's house, where I shall, set, where I shall let you hear what I have to say. So I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. And whenever the vessel he was making came out wrong, as happens with the clay handled by potters, he would start afresh and work it into another vessel, as potters do. Then this word of the Lord was addressed to me. House of Israel, can I not do to you <clears throat> what this potter does? It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so you are in mine, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea that brings in a haul of all kinds. When it is full, the fishermen haul it ashore. Then sitting down, they collect the good ones in a basket and throw away those that are no use. This is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will appear and separate the wicked from the just to throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all this? They said, yes. And he said to them, well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. When Jesus had finished these parables, he left the district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. What Jesus is uh, saying there is that uh, there is, of course, the old, that is what has been revealed, what has been established, but there's also a new understanding, a deepening of that. It's not that it's changing and becoming something completely different. It's that it's deepening and there's a sense of uh, a more profound insight into what God has already shown us. And so this was the, the gift of one such as St. Peter Chrysologus, that he could look at what had already been established and taught in the church, but perhaps teach it in a new way, teach it in a way that gave a greater insight and understanding um, as to what was being revealed about the, the incarnation and about Mary's virginity and about the Blessed Eucharist. These were already very well established, but they needed to be understood, perhaps in the particular circumstance of the people of the day that St. Peter lived 
and so it is true of our time that we need to use ways and of course Jesus is the, the preacher um, par excellence and his wonderful um, you know parables and his great homilies the, 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 this is another homily we're drawing from here uh, which is the, on the kingdom and comparisons of various things to the kingdom and in, in such a powerful way getting across uh, that idea of the richness and the profundity of the kingdom of God and how we can understand it by looking at various uh, ideas the seed and the dragnet and, the, and the, the pearl of great price and the treasure in the field and all of this kind of thing and the darn and the wheat of course as, we, as we've heard a couple of weeks ago and this is how the scribe truly lives out his ministry by bringing out of the store things both old and new and uses them uh, to enrich his uh, listeners and to enrich their lives so that we can understand what God is truly saying to us and in knowing the truth we are set free to be the people he has created us to be. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for that. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of, Pe of blessed Peter Chrysologus be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Peter Chrysologus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants.
and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting hand. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O oh God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. There was also your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit as we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, 
At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold a faithful and prudent steward, to give them their allowance of food at the proper time.
O oh, sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, I praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O oh, sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, I praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O oh, sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, O oh, praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Amen. Let us pray. Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Peter Chrysologus, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.